Well, Michael, we'll return to the county ground tomorrow as we look to bounce back from last Saturday's result. How has your side's preparations been this week? It's been a, a long week. We've had a free week, able to get um, some, some ideas into the players and some work into their legs. But ultimately, um, we've, we've got to improve on last week. Pete Wilde's side are unbeaten in their last 10 games in League Two at the moment. So what makes playing against Barrow such a challenge at the moment? They've, they've got a good mix. They know, um, they know when to turn teams, when to play. They've got experience. Um, and I think Pete's done a good job there. We're entering a busy period over Christmas. Are your side boosted with any returns to the injured players and any in chance of featuring tomorrow? Um, we'll have to wait and see on that. There's a few that won't definitely won't make tomorrow. Um, we're waiting on one, maybe two. But uh, on the injury front, it, it is pretty much what we've seen at Wimbledon. It's, uh, it's not ideal, but we can't make excuses. We've got to get on with it and we'll put out the best team we think, well, that we can put out and we think will give us a chance to win the game. Looking at Barrow, Dom Telford, a player that you've managed in the past, he'll prove a handful for any defenders in League Two. Yeah, he's a good lad, Dom. We've got a lot of, a lot of time for him. Um, you know, it didn't go as well as we'd hoped for, for me and him at Newport. But we've kept in contact. He's, he's a lad who, who cares. Um, and look, he's, he's a threat. He's, he's a goal scorer. And uh, we, we've got to watch him. Williams Kokolo, a player that you signed on a short-term deal until January. Are you pleased with his performances so far? Yeah, William. He's, he's settled in well. He's settled in well with the players um, and the staff. There's more to come from him. But each game, I think he's, he's getting more and more fitness into him and hopefully he'll keep improving. And finally, the academy take on Luton in round three this evening at the FA Youth Cup, which I'm sure you'll keep a close eye on. Of course. They, uh, there's a lot of players that have been involved with us and have trained with us on regular occasions. So um, look, I wish them, wish them good luck and go and enjoy it. It's, uh, it's a chance to play against a Premier League team in, in the FA Youth Cup and uh, you never know what can happen. Best of luck tomorrow. Cheers.